Can't wait for people's reaction to this one. America! America! But first, I want to make one thing crystal clear. I am here to review a movie. Not a veteran who died tragically, nor am I here to preach political dogma. No, I'm here to talk about the newest film from living legend Clint Eastwood. Nothing more. So, American Sniper. There's really not a whole lot to say outside, it's kinda lame. There are things I liked. Cooper's performance was one of his more interesting, and it was shot bloody beautiful. It just didn't have a great story. Again, that isn't an attack on the man the movie is telling the story of, but as a movie, it really has nothing to say. No commentary on anything or insight into anything. It's just an episodic reenactment of a few parts of Chris Kyle's life. Being honest here, a fictionalized highlight reel is probably a better word for this beast than movie. It does deal with the ideas of post-traumatic stress and difficulty vets have when coming home, but what war story hasn't? This movie just doesn't really have much to offer in the long run. Now, that doesn't mean the movie is bad, it's just not overwhelmingly good. You see, this is a bit of an issue where you can run into here with critique, because words are black and white, but art is anything but. There is value to be had with this movie, there is, but it just didn't ring true for me. It felt kind of forced. And when I read up on Chris Kyle, it turns out he did all kinds of things that could have greatly helped this movie out, but they were left out for reasons, and now I'm reviewing something that doesn't even exist. Mostly because there just isn't anything else to say. So this is me out of steam. Well, I, I could talk about why I saw this movie outside of, you know, review basis and stuff. Um, in the past, I've actually never managed to see every movie up for Best Picture before the Oscars happened. So this year, I'm fixing that and I'm reviewing each and every one of them. So one down, bam, seven to go. But in terms of video length, we're only looking at like two-ish minutes right now. What else can I talk about? Um, I saw Horrible Bosses too. It made me laugh, but not much else to say than that. Same goes for Into the Woods. It was all right. I, I had fun with it, much more fun than I thought I would the day my lady said, let's go see Into the Woods. But I realized a day or so after I saw the movie, when I sat down to do a review of it, I really didn't remember a whole lot about it. I did like the third act a lot, actually. I really like that idea of, well, now that the fairy tale's over, what do we do? But I wasn't left with enough to say that would warrant hours of work, and I couldn't even get up to five minutes of video, so I let it go, and now I'm stumped again. God, I hate January. Um, any cool trailers come out recently? How did we get this far? All right. Human beings have an immeasurable desire to discover. Oh, what? What, what the? What is this? What is this? This is a trailer for Interstellar 2? It's too early for that, but look, we got cornfields, space stuff, over serious monologue. Our future depends on us furthering these ideas. What? What was. Did I? No. No. I mean, this movie comes out in July, and this, our horribly overdue first look, is nothing more than an identityless Nolan wannabe pile of generic hooey? What? For the record, I have no doubt this movie will be better than the last three Fantastic Four movies, but considering how bad all three of those were, there's a long road from them to good territory. I do like this movie's cast, and I've been waiting for this director's next movie since Chronicle, and, you know, I even think that turning Doctor Doom into a blogger is one of those ideas that's just so hilariously bad that it's, it's kind of gold. I mean, come on! This guy as a blogger? Oh, I just hope he blogs about movies at some point during the film. Ben Affleck is to be Batman? Doom is not pleased. Tell me that doesn't look dope. Hulk like Amazing Spider-Man 2. It was overstuffed and about nothing! <laughs> Oh, 
okay, I'm done. I, I promise. So hopefully it will be good. I mean, I loved the Fantastic Four cartoon when I was a kid, and I love this cast and this director. I want all of them to have careers, so I want the movie to do well. I want it to make money. And I don't know. This trailer just doesn't give me any real hope. It, it kind of drains, like, what little I have, because it just it has no sense of self. Yet, I kind of can't wait for Blog Doom. Hell, guys, I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see and for now i just want january to be over so i'll see you guys when it is later